the story behind the beard. In 2011, I was confronted with information that no one wants to be confronted with. I was told that some problems I had was cancer. What we didn't know back in 2011 was what we really didn't know, what the doctors really didn't know. They didn't have a lot of information about the type of cancer that I had. I had surgery. I went through some protocols and some follow-up visits and within a period of time, maybe a year or so, I was told that, that I was cancer free. <laughs> I mean, that was great news. It's what we've been believing for. And uh, I was pretty excited as you would expect. And I went back to life as, as usual, cancer free. And in 2015, I had some issues, started coughing up blood on stage one day, went back to the doctors, long story short, cancer was back, but this time it was stage four. I now have multiple tumors at this point, undergoing treatments and therapies and trials and all kinds of, of work that was just, just wearing me out. And um, I also had another problem occur, a bigger problem than just me. My mother-in-law, who I loved dearly, was also battling cancer. She and I shared quite a few conversations back and forth. And she, in 2015, lost her battle with cancer. So what all does this have to do with this big, giant, hairy beard? It was a switch that happened in me at that time when she passed away. I'd always had a beard, always had some kind of facial hair ever since I could grow it. And um, I felt at that point in my life that my fight, one of the tr triggers inside, one of the things that I really wanted to work hard for was that Cancer, typically, one of the first things it does, especially when people are on chemo and treatments, it usually takes your hair first. People lose their hair. I decided to not trim or shave or do anything else with my beard at that point and grow my beard out. Because I had determined that cancer wasn't gonna take me and it wasn't gonna take my hair and my hair is always going to be the sign that I'm gonna win this battle. Cancer's not taking this from me. And when I am finally declared cancer free, when cancer is finally gone from my body, I make the choice when the hair comes off my body. I make the choice when I cut this off and cancer does not. So for those that have been wondering all this time, for those who talk about the whole ZZ Top look, for those who talk about, you know, I can't stand to look at you because of your beard and, you know, I get all kinds of comments. It doesn't matter to me because this is a sign of how long I'm still alive. This is a sign that cancer isn't going to take me out. So last week when they said more cancer has come back into my brain and I undergo surgery again and I'm now going back for radiation treatment. Here's the reminder folks. Cancer's not gonna win. As long as this thing's on me, you and I both have hope. You and I both have faith. We can trust and believe God. And I can promise you that things are gonna work out. So even when cancer tries to show its ugly head and they say, oh, we found some more, or I have to go through more surgeries or radiation or whatever, I have hope. I believe God is going to deliver me from the hands of cancer. He already did. It's just that my body has to catch up and there's hope for a future. I've been promised it. You have to. So every day that
that I'm online. Every day you see me talking, you see my beard. It is a sign of hope. It is a, a place to connect and believe that things are going to be okay. That's why I always say, flip out, flip the script on life. And of course, God's got this.